our goal in this video is to develop the logic so that we can only specify the columns we want to skip and it is return the array without the column we don't want. The first thing we need to develop this whole array using dynamic formula. Let me just remove the second parameter and hit enter. If we just start the sequence function first, sequence, how many rows you want? So in this case, we have 26 column. So I will specify 26 column to this. It's generate me the list starting from the one till 26. If I use the xmatch function with the sequence function, xmatch, where is the lookup value? My lookup value is the sequence result. What you want to look up? So look up seven column and eleven columns. Match mode exact. If I just press enter, for now it's return me only the position where we want to skip the column. So seven column and eleven column return me the position. These are the column we want to skip. Now if I use the is error function and close the bracket around the function we develop it's returning me the true and the false and if we use this as a filter function so filter would only filter out the true while skip the false so i will use i will cut this function filter where is the error you want so in this case, we will specify the same array sequence function. How many columns you have? 26 columns in our data. And include parameter, we will use this function. Now we generate this new list, which has seven skip, 11 has been skip, and this is a new array. If we just cut this whole new array, and paste this in a choose column function, it will return me all of the column without the column we don't 